Hello and welcome to another showcase by EK Waterblocks. My name is Attila and I'm about to show you something interesting. I hope you will enjoy this because it's a big one. Or should I say two big ones. Introducing the EK Quantum Inwin 977 EK PC case, available both in black and silver versions. This case has been designed from scratch specifically for custom loop liquid cooling and ease of use. But before we dive into the specifics, I'd like to reveal the most important information in the first 60 seconds of this video. The MSRP of the case is set at 879.99 US dollars, which converts to about 800 euros. The case can fit two P series 420 mm radiators, supporting even cross flow versions. The maximum allowed GPU size is 190 mm in width and 330 mm in length, so you are good for any high-end GPU currently on the market. There is no particular PSU size constraint and the reversible motherboard tray can accommodate motherboards that are 310 mm wide, which means that most extended ATX motherboards can fit as well. Now that we got all that out of the way, let's dig into the specifics. The outer shell of the case is bent out of a large piece of 4 mm high quality brushed aluminum and it has the signature Inwin look. The bending process is hand operated and it really shows the skill and craftsmanship of the team over at Inwin. But already on the outside of the case there is some EK magic happening with an intricate ventilation grill covering almost the entire top panel. A large tinted tempered glass panel is present on each side of the case, making it perfect for showcasing your hardware and liquid cooling gear. At first, this looks like an ordinary case, right? Nothing special. But when you start looking at the inside, it gets more exciting. Both the top and the bottom of the case utilize removable dust filters and radiator mounts that slide out of the back of the case. This greatly simplifies the maintenance and installation of the radiators and fans. The great thing about the radiator rails is that the mounts are centered, so you can swap between 120 and 140 mm type radiators and the ports will still be positioned in the same place. The maximum radiator length goes up to 360 or 420 even supporting cross-flow variants. An S-series or slim radiator will sit flush with the mounting frame of the case, but a P-series 44mm thick radiator with 25mm fans will also fit with no issues whatsoever. X-series 58mm thick radiators can also fit, but we recommend this only for expert users since tucking them in requires a bit more skill. As mentioned, the radiator mounts that can slide out make the radiator and fan installation much easier because they can just as easily slide in. The next party trick is the heavy duty motherboard tray that can also, with no sweat, slide out at the back of the case. This again simplifies the PC building process by being able to install the motherboard and the CPU water block hassle free. Want to see some more sliding action? Sure, no problem. The power supply mount can slide out of the case as well and it also acts as a pump reservoir or combo mount. All this sliding is not just there as a convenience during the building process, but it also allows the user to transform this regular PC case into reverse ATX. By simply rotating the power supply mount and the motherboard tray and sliding them in at the opposite side of the case, you are getting a reverse ATX setup in a matter of seconds. All this is possible due to the heavy duty aluminum extrusions that are present in the bottom and the top of the case. These act as rails for all the sliding components and greatly improve the structural rigidity of the case. For all the legacy hard drive users, the 977EK even supports 2.5 and 3.5 drives on the removable tray that is located on the back of the motherboard tray. Convenient cabling is also what the engineers of the case had in mind, adding an ample amount of large rubber grommets on key positions inside this PC chassis. For me, as a person who has built dozens of PCs and reviewed cases 10 years ago before I joined EK, there is one other thing that I find really important, and that is the amount of space behind the motherboard tray for cable management or unmanagement. 
There will be occasions when you cannot pull off a perfect cabling job and the frustration of not being able to close the side panel because there is no space always got to me. Rest assured, the 977EK has 32mm of space to safely tuck in the cables even if you are not a cabling master. Last but not least, I will mention the RGB lit capacitive on and off button that is placed on the front face of the case as a cherry on top of this visual and technical masterpiece. That would be all from me for this product showcase. I really hope you have enjoyed it. If there are any details that we have missed about this case, please head over to the product page, which contains abundant information and technical drawings about compatibility. And if you think that we have still missed something, don't hesitate to ask us in the comment section. And also, while you're here, hit that subscribe button and let us know what you think about the EK Quantum Inwin 977EK case. Until next time, stay cool and start planning your next look.